the moment. Um, maybe just to set the stage a little bit. Huh? So uh, why is this next generation podium so important for this uh, Eurodelta um, co collaboration? Can you say something about that? Yes, well, well first of all, um... It is by conviction. I mean, we we truly feel that uh, it is important to uh, hear the voice uh, of the next generation uh, planners, scholars, professionals uh, that will have to deal with uh, the the Euro Delta environment in the in the in the upcoming decades. So it's important to to have them involved, um, and also because the most of the problems that we're facing today are kind of a wicked problems uh, that need out of the box solutions and out of the box um, um, ideas. And and uh, who, who would be better uh, equipped to, to bring in these, these out of the box approaches um, than uh, this next generation? Uh, so we, we find that very inspiring. And, and I think uh, the, the, the additions of next generation podium of the last two years, have uh, evidently proven uh, that this this is this is really an, an inspiring and effective uh, way of of engaging uh, power of thought and power of imagination that we really need in these times. First of all, we, we're worried about the the lack of progress. So we have a lot of done a lot of research, uh, a lot of uh, talks, a lot of uh, inspirational moments, uh, a lot of policy but uh it's it's too slow so we want to accelerate and we have um i think four strategic um ideas that we want to to work on one is chain dependency so if you only look at uh circular economic activities in the city of amsterdam you neglect the fact that all these companies and industries are connected with one another also outside the borders of uh, amsterdam so you need to think about the, the whole chain of, of economic activity. So chain dependency is, is number one. Then the second one is focus. Uh, if you want to accelerate, we need two, three, maybe four uh, successful examples. So we're focusing on uh, building and construction. We're focusing on um consumer uh products we're focusing on food and organic waste and on uh clothing on textile and this is we do focus on these uh, uh uh segments of the of the market because that's the third point we want to create ecosystems circular ecosystems and that, that only works if you if you start working on one or two or three focus points and last but not least we're rethinking our, our spatial strategy as well, because a circular economy needs uh, a different kind of an urban and regional layout, spatial layout than a traditional economy. A linear economy uh, simply has a different uh, spatial footprint than circular economy. 